Hi, my name is Ziad Fayad. I'm part of the Einstein Analytics product team and uh, I'm gonna show you in this video just walk you through the append and recipes the new one and uh, as of summer 18 so again under data flows under data manager which is from this icon right here um, you can go to recipes and I have this one let me open this one and uh, they uh, so this is opportunity owner account uh, ACCMT it has certain fields and notice that um, it has a formula here so as of summer 18 there's this new button right here which is a pen data and what it does is just gonna whatever data set you have it's gonna add those rows under the matching columns if there are no matching columns it's gonna add the columns and just add the rows and fill them with blanks where there are no matching so if I click on append data, it's going to ask me for another data set. Let me pick, for example, my ops data, which I know has most of these columns except the last two. As you can see, it found the matching between the uh, two data sets. They're pretty much the same, so they have the same name. But look at this one. The first one has a stage custom. The second one does not have, so it's okay. It's just going to fill it with blank. And as I scroll down, also I have CD years and CD quarters and so forth. And the last two, again, they do not match. So as you can see, this is what I call uh, disjointed, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, pending. And, um, and we can hit continue here. Rows are appended with recipes runs. They don't appear in the recipe preview. Okay, append. So right now, I cannot see them. But what I'm going to do is update data set. This is account. And let me see if they are here. Okay, I'm going to hit continue. I run it one time. All right, it's running successfully. Let me go to the data monitor. I'm going to let it run. I'm going to wait for it. A bit all right this is successful so I'm gonna go back to the uh, analytics studio page and or tab refresh it look for ACCNT which is this guy right here we just appended to it and let's see what we have um, maybe the best way kind of show you a values table I will pick some of the columns and select all so I'll pick some of the um, the matching right so these were matching industry quarters were not matching between the two and if I remember correctly formula and external okay and then the rest were kind of matching I'm just gonna pick randomly and uh, okay let me try to sort and one more sort oh it's gonna say other weeks let me see if i have anywhere here right there so you see these zeros these are the non-matching uh, rows and as you can see look this is uh, the original, uh, sorry, this is the second data set because if I, you know, if I group by uh, opportunity ID, I'm going to get these values. So probably let me switch back to compare table, group by opportunity ID or name, doesn't matter. So you see there are two rows per each one. That means they were appended. <clears throat> Let's see for um, add external invoice amount. Okay, most of these are matching. And maybe the formula, <clears throat> sorry, formula. And again, probably let me see if I can sort the send ascending. And again, I have the matching rows. I'm just trying to see if I can 
um, and probably I'm not gonna be able because actually this is uh, group by so my original way to look at it as actually more accurate so I'm gonna go back and again just to show you that both records were okay let me do one more thing opportunity ID and take out industry maybe take out ID bring opportunity ID all the way up okay and now you can see that some of it has um, New York this doesn't have actually a billing state well in this case and yeah, no actually they're not the same um, let me see if I can do a yep there you go so there you go I just sorted and this this opportunity shows me one record from one um, data set original data set and this is the record from the other data set as you can see no matching but still it brought the uh, the values from the first one the second one had no values and this is essentially how a pen will work for you it's very helpful um, the most common scenario is when you have snapshots um, or you have some external data that it is also still snapshots or uh, you know enriched by some some other fields through a data warehouse or some other external process and you want to bring it in and just append it not augment it remember this is as of summer 18 uh, you could always do this in the data flow we you know but we did not have the mismatch disjoints um, uh, and uh, we used to have some uh, adding a compute relative to add fields and then drop of those fields, slice them, and then do an append. Right now, you can do it both in data flows or in the recipes as disjointed, which essentially does not need the fields to match. And just remember, this is as of summer 18, and you can find it right there in the on the bottom, and you need to run the recipe and view it there. Thanks for watching.